Hi, this is Karen Titus from Stamping on the Back Porch. And welcome to another in our series of Stamping Through the Alphabet. Today is letter T, and T is for truly grateful. I think this is a really fun autumn fall set. And um, also great for men's cards. And what I'm doing today is just showing that, you know, this is one stamp set four ways. One of the th ways that I like to think about stamping and become creative is I will work with just one stamp set at a time. I just kind of leave it sitting out for a few days while I'm doing other things so that I'm constantly aware of it. And then whenever I get an idea using those, I can go ahead and stamp with it. I always love the idea of doing just some blocking. And because this had several little uh, stamps that just seemed right, I went ahead and did that one. And this was just a fun one. I mean, always obviously saw the oval shape and the little acorn. And this, I just like the idea of overlapping. I started with this card and then I just thought, you know, I like sometimes doing really, well, I often like doing really simple cards, that's kind of, but I thought this just made sense to kind of do a colored in area. And then I thought, oh, it needed something. So I decided to pop one and I popped a little circle right behind it and put my words right there. And then this last one, I saw this layout in a magazine when I was at uh, the bookstore, which is my favorite place to hang out. And they were doing this as a challenge. And I just looked at that and thought, oh, I immediately saw this same stamp set. So I took this idea from there. So it's just a top piece, cut down, angled like that. And you can see these are all using the same colors. They're all using the Sweater Weather Designer Series paper and the same stamp set. And yet, let, yet you get a whole variety of things. And I wanted to just point out one other thing about um, coloring in. Usually if I'm going to color with a blender pen, which is what I did here, I will use a, the, you know, the, the permanent inks, but I really wanted to just do the chocolate chip because it fit with this. And I think when you just do things lightly, because you know in general they're, they're not so permanent, but I also liked on these husks. I thought it was just really a fun way to just kind of make dabs all around like this. You know, I have no art background at all, but I was told once that the secret to watercoloring and things is to leave some white space, and we tend to just think we need to fill everything in. So whether or not that's true, I I'm going to go with it, and uh, it just makes it a whole lot easier to do it. But it's not just a fun look, so you can do a lot of fun different ways with your coloring. And th these outside, these cross hatches, they would be fun to color too. So I would just encourage you to have fun, play around with this, put out a stamp set and see what different ideas you can come up with. So let's get creative and stay tuned for more in the Stampin' Alphabet. Be sure you've subscribed to my channel. Thank you, Karen Titus.